let's talk a little bit about DNA and DNA tests in particular. What do they mean? What do they mean for you and what do they mean for all of us? Well, let's find out. Well, the first thing it means when you give your DNA and pay a company to take your DNA is that you have paid some really sinister groups to take your DNA and possibly use it for very sinister purposes in the future. And they will be able to do that because guys like you gave them or even paid them to take your DNA. When you get the result of those tests, and for a sample, it says 90% Scandinavian, 10% English, and then most people will start to think, oh, really? So 10% of my forebears came from England and I'm 90% Scandinavian and so forth. But that's not what it says. It says that your DNA has the best match with the modern, already mixed population from Scandinavia, 90%, and 10% with the modern, already mixed population of England. Doesn't say anything about why your DNA matches so much, for example, the English. Could perfectly well have been some Norwegians who moved there. Or, of course, it could have been some Norwegians who took some people from England with them back in the Viking Age. But the test doesn't tell you that. If you want to know what you are and where you come from, you can take a mirror and can you look into it. And if you are European and your eyes are blue or grey, and your hair is, you know, light blonde to extremely dark blonde or light brown, as some call it. And your skin is fair, your nose is fairly straight and so forth. Then you are European, period. That's all you need. If you look like this, but you also know that you have some forebear that wasn't European. How, how can they, that make sense? Well, the fact is that you inherit genes from your forebears, but you don't inherit all of them, from all of them. And some of these genes are selected out. And if you look perfectly European today, even if you had some non-European far back in time, you still are European and perfectly European because those genes clearly have been selected out. And when it comes to um, phenotype versus genotype, if the phenotype is recessive, like blue eyes, fair skin and such, then the genotype is recessive too. If you have genes for these non-European traits, then you would have looked non-European. It's very simple. And the other way around, if you have the phenotype of non with non-European features, like brown eyes and black hair and such, you might still have an overwhelmingly European heritage. All of this is very complicated, but at the same time, it's pretty simple. And if you want to know your origins, look in the mirror and don't ever give them your DNA. And especially, you know, come on, you are paying them to take your DNA. And if you in the future see some horrible biological weapon you created, that will only target certain groups. Then you can think back at the time that when you pay them to take your DNA and therefore help them do this, you will be to blame for that. You, your pride and your stupidity. <laughs>